in this do it step by step video, I'm going to go step by step with a little bit more clarity on how I made the two foot base supports for my wedding arch. And it's raining right now. What I'm going to do is just show you how I made the measurements indoor inside my house without doing any cuts, but at least you know where to put your cut lines. And I'm going to demonstrate this on this scrap piece of wood. What you need to do is measure two feet for your base support. For each base support will be two feet. And then you need to find the center, which is one foot. And this, this is going to be the top of the base support. And then you measure three quarters of an inch on each side because that equals one and a half inches. This piece of lumber is one and a half inches thick and you're going to make your half lap joint right here. So three quarter inches on each side will give you one and a half inches. Then draw your lines. And then you want to measure this piece of lumber is five and a half inches, so that's two and three quarter inches. That is halfway. And then draw a straight line. This is the half lap joint you're going to cut out for the base support. So this one is going to be cut. Now, since this is an inch and a half inch thick, let's come off this cut line an inch and a half. And an inch and a half right here. This is going to be the starting point for your slope going down to the bottom of your base supports. And let's do the same for the bottom of the base support. Let's come up an inch and a half from there. And right there. Then you just take your straight edge and draw a straight line connecting the two points together. And there you have it. This is going to be cut. And all this is going to be saved to be your base support for your wedding arch. It's important to note that the base support will have the half lap joint cut on the top and then the bottom piece of your arch will have the half lap joint cut from the bottom that when we take the two pieces they can join and give you a nice strong support. I hope that provides some clarity on how I made the base supports for the wedding arch. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. This is how I made my base support, and now you can do it step by step.